why. So I don't just make videos. I also write books. They're available on Amazon.com in paperback and Kindle. This is Esperanza's Party, the Rolling Sea book one, Esperanza's Party. <laughs> um, this is the book where the captain's daughter and the first mate's son realize that they love each other. They should be dating. They're going to spend the rest of their lives together. Well, they've always known that, but... Um, anyway, they are on Esperanza's Island so they can so help Esperanza celebrate her birthday. And... Sean and Jesse are on the dance floor dancing with two other girls. And Ashley and Chantel decide to intervene. And y'all have to read the book to find out what happens. Please check out this book and all of my books on Amazon.com. And have a great day. Hi and Merry Christmas. This has been recorded literally two days before Christmas. It's being recorded on the 23rd. Um, you probably noticed that in the uh, video title. Um, wow. I didn't realize how far behind she is. Okay, so this is my character Natalie. And she's on the other file. I mean, the. Yeah, you know, I've got an, I've got another file, and then I've got this one. Um. Anyway, I didn't realize how far behind she was. Oh my gosh. Okay, so. What are we going to do? Oh, well, first we're going to check. Oh. <laughs> All right. I will see you in a moment. I got to move that. <laughs> okay. I am back. What do we have? Oh, we're collecting hardwood, rope, clay, and iron ingots. I have no idea where I collected the clay. <laughs> um, do we have anything to feed this poor squirrel? Yes. Yay! Okay, now this guy. Come on. Oh no, that's my pet. I've got a pet squirrel. Since when do I have a pet squirrel? <laughs> Alright. We'll go with it. Oh. Oh yeah, okay. So, on my other file, I actually have... Since I could move those stumps, I actually have Remy's restaurant here, and I've got his house here. But we're not going to do that right now. Oh, there's a new thing where you collect wrapping paper. I don't know why yet. I assume we're going to be wrapping presents, but never assume. But literally on this one, we're just, you know, showing you how to play Dreamlight Valley. Wow, I've got a stove and everything. Cool. I don't know. I feel like I haven't been playing this character as much as the other one. 
and oh back here okay and lately I have not been making any videos for about two weeks and that's oh I can't go back over there forgot um, I haven't been making videos for about two weeks because about a week ago maybe it was only one week but about a week ago there was this small problem where I went to go on walmart.com to get my husband a Christmas present not a paid advertisement because we all know I don't really like the W but it's part of the story so anyway um oh that's where he is okay so oh now we see him so anyway I went there it says hey Natalie wait is that a sock I found it lying on the ground it's orange so I figured it might be yours you know since you really like carrots Oh, you know, since really like carrots. Sorry, no, that's not my sock. And that's not really carrot orange, is it? Looks more like pumpkin orange to me. Doesn't help that the um <laughs> that the options are down there. Hold on. <laughs> okay, I think he stopped. Um, now I'm thinking that should be over there. Instead. Okay. Um, well, I can't read that one, so we'll go. You can see how I'd make that mistake. Wait a second, that's not my sock, but now that I look more closely, I think I've seen it before. Socks like that were hanging up on a clothesline near Merlin's library. Hmm, who would be hanging up their laundry there? I guess I'll go check. Um... Okay, now we need to find Mickey Mouse. I was going to say, assuming we can find him. Oh my gosh, the two files look so different. Oh wait, do we need to go the other way? Or, okay. Oh, there's Mickey. Hi, Anne Natalie, do you need some help? I do. Donald thinks the village is under invasion by sock stealing space aliens. Haha. <laughs> ha. Yeah, I've heard him talking about it. I've been investigating to try to. Figure out what's going on. Oh boy. So you think there might be really be sock stealing space aliens around here we can't rule anything out I'm on the trail of another clue I found this knitted sock is it yours I don't think so it doesn't look like any of my other socks so even if the forgetting made me forget I doubt it's one of mine say I think I remember somebody making those though it was somebody who used to take care of everybody in the village, including making sure our feet stayed warm. 
If I try real hard, I can almost remember what she looked like, but not quite. I bet she conjured these to give to somebody special as a gift. I guess I'll have to figure out who that someone special was. Thanks, Mickey. Okay, and then it said, go talk to Merlin. So where did we see Merlin? Oh, he's eating at the restaurant. Wants green salad. Okay. Green salad. Do we have a recipe for green salad? Yes, we do. Green salad. Ooh, we don't have any lettuce. A green salad is an unnamed vegetable like a carrot and lettuce, but we don't have any. Guess we'll have to work on that one. Well now, what do you you have there, Natalie? Good gracious, my sock. I've been looking for this everywhere. A dear friend conjured these for me long ago. They're my most cherished pair. When I hold them close, well, I can almost remember her face. Wait a moment. It looks like this sock has been a bit slubbered on, slubbered upon. wasn't me. I should hope not. I would be a bit concerned of forgetting I'd gotten to you it, to you too if you were chewing on socks. There's someone going around stealing everybody's stuff and dropping it everywhere. You might have heard Donald talking about it. Hmm, yes, I have heard him going on about extraterrestrials of some sort. But we have enough magical metals around here without worrying about that. So do you think Donald's quacking up the wrong tree? Or have you noticed anything else going missing? Now that you mention it, someone's been pilfering books and causing a great commotion in the Dreamlight Library. Hmm, maybe I can find a clue in there. So, he wants green salad, and I don't know if we can get lettuce. I think we can, though. Excuse me, Maui. And then we'll check his place. Yay, we can, we can. Oh, wait, um, no, we're going to buy. Um, oh, we could sell stuff, too. Um, we'll get 10 for now. Wow. We really have no way to, where to store it, so. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're going to take our shovel. And, wow, okay. You know, it's a good idea to count when you're shoveling one two three four five we've got ten of them so six seven eight nine 
10. Well, I mean, unless you're, you know, going to just do a... Well, that didn't work. <laughs> unless you're going to do a specific spot and then... Uh, four five six okay so we need four more because I didn't know that we had carrots and it's saying don't shovel you know it wasn't allowing me to shovel there because the squirrel was in the way I think I knew it was in the way I just I'm just not sure if that's the reason why it wasn't stopping me. Okay, and then. Oh, and to change the tools, you uh, press the right trigger button. I don't know what I've shown you and what I haven't, so. And like I said, it's been a while. Um, okay, so on this file, Merlin's house is over here. Nope, I can't delay yet. Darn. So, you will notice there's a big mess in here. Remove five, uh, remove the trash in Merlin's library to find a clue. There's five trash. And I find it fascinating that on my file there was trash right here. Okay. Bring the mysterious claw to Donald. Okay, where is Donald? Oh. Uh, Donald's at Donald's house. Okay. Oh my gosh, this is so weird. So I actually got to a stopping point on my other file because I have a mission that will not uh, trigger. Oh boy, look at that. That's proof. That piece of claw had to come from a space alien. Do you still have that strange device? You bet, and it's beating a lot. I'm gonna put the claw piece in it and see what happens. Whack, what's it doing? Doing. It's all lit up. The screen says DNA match authorization 100% complete. Please place beacon to initiate landing protocol. Keep clear for your own safety. What does that mean? I think it means this thing is some kind of homing beacon. We need to put this down somewhere and then the alien spaceship will land. And then we can catch the sock stealing space aliens. Smart thing... Smart thinking, Natalie. Now no one will doubt me the next time I see something suspicious going on around here. Let's put it down on Skull Rock off Dazzle Beach, just to be safe. Okay, so we got to place the homing beacon on Skull Rock. 
which is on the other side over there. And since we don't have the ability to take out those big rock things, I go around this just in case you forgot is a big rock thing <laughs> oh my gosh we still have icicles <laughs> okay so this was trickier than it was supposed to be on my other file Can be even trickier now. Okay. There we go. Place the beacon. And we now have stitch. Phew, Icky Bachuta. I am not going to be very good at this. Da Chadi Na. Um, excuse me, are you the space alien who's been stealing all the socks? Socks, yeah. Socks make good fuel for a Stitch's ship. But now, ship crashed. Was it you? Yes, that was me. I didn't mean for it, that to happen. Bravo, new poo gee. My ship is broken. Your fault. I think your ship was malfunctioning even before it crashed. It looked like you were having some trouble steering it. Me got oh it to me? Ika patuka tuki tuka whatever. <laughs> Obviously, I'm not very good at speaking Stitch. I'm sorry. I saw that blue alien hop out of his spaceship. I remember him from before the forgetting. His name is Stitch, and he loves to cause trouble. But I think the forgetting made him even more trouble than before. Do you know what this means, Donald? You were right all along. There was a space alien stealing everybody's socks. I knew it. And nobody believed me. I was the only one who had it figured out. I think we have more important things to worry about. Uh, I guess you're right, but we can't have Stitch running around the village destroying stuff. We gotta catch him. But how? Well, his spaceship got destroyed. I guess that was his only place to live. He seemed pretty mad about it. Maybe we could start by asking your Uncle Scrooge to make a home for him. That's a good idea. That way, Stitch can wreck his own house instead of mine. So place Stitch's house in Dreamlight Valley. Which is going to be a little harder. But doable. Okay. Yeah, right there. That works.
used the Scrooge McDuck sign to pay for the construction of Stitch's house. If I have enough room, oh, no, excuse me, if I have enough money. Natalie, that wee blue lad is running amok all over the valley. Isn't he a mite destructive? All that property damage. Ugh, oh, my wallet aches just thinking about it. We ought to make him his own place that he can wreck as much as he likes. Ten thousand dollars? Dang! <laughs> Come back later. Suffering Scots, I'm not sure the valley can take much more of this, Natalie. Well, I don't have anything. I mean, I don't have enough money to do it. Um. So now I got 4,600. Okay, so there we go. Dang it, my inventory is full again. Oh. Okay, this is kind of creepy. I mean, a squirrel, follow me. I don't remember how to change it. Oh, no, it was wardrobe. Dang it, that's all I have for a companion. Fine. That's funny. I started the other file with a um, pink crocodile. That was a little weird. Okay. Um. Okay. I was going to say, I assume I'm allowed to come up here. Okay, we're going to sell. This is stuff we shouldn't be selling, but we need the money. You notice I'm selling stuff that we can always get again. Oh, wait. Not that. Um, selling stuff that we can always get again. They're renewable items. And we probably don't need them right now. Okay, what do we got now? Got six thousand eight hundred and seven. Oh. Mary's coconut grown from a planted eel.
No, wrong button, sorry. Okay. Bring the coconut to Maui. So, we're still working on trying to get enough resources to... You know what? It would help to know where Maui is. Of course, he was hanging out up there. Now he's not. Okay. Oh, he's down by Donald's house. That's weird. Okay, so we're going to talk to Maui and then we're going to end the video. Do you want to give these items? Of course we do. Ta-da! Coconuts! One of my... Uh, one of the many feats that made me a hero. Huh? Speaking of my heroism, are you a demigod too? You're a little small. No, that's kooky dukes. You're just a regular human who can do non-human-y things, right? Actually, I don't care because now coconuts will grow naturally on the beach. No more planting eels. Okay, you can go. I need to think about my next heroic deed. Check with me later. Okay. So... I hope you're having a great day. Know that you are enough. Merry Christmas. No matter when you're watching this. <laughs> and I'll see you in the next video. Hi. So I don't just make videos. I also write books. This is... The Rolling Sea, Trader Book 2, The Island. Um, all of my books are available on Amazon in paperback and Kindle at the moment. And if I can never get decent pictures again, they will also be available on hardback as well. This is the book where they were trying to go back to Ireland so they can go to school. And they hit a sandbar. So, Sean and Jesse decide to go exploring. And you'll have to read the book to find out what happens. And please check out all of my books on Amazon.com. And have a great day.